Hello everybody, what's going on? V6 here, and uh, this is the parking. This is the parking. Anyways, uh, this is the last part of my uh, American demonstration videos. In this video I'm going to be using the Armored Company. They are the easiest for me to win with, in my opinion. Playing against a uh, Panzer Elite again. I only play against the easy computers just because this is a demonstration. Uh, I'm also playing against the Panzer Elite because it makes it even easier because <laughs> Panzer Elite don't get anything that the Americans can't get. Oh, I love them. Okay, great. Cool. Combat engineers, good to go. Okay, Listen here. Yeah. <laughs> I've never heard him say that before. Okay, so let me... <laughs> uh, let me unpause the recording. Engineers, you're amazing. So I start with my uh, regular, plain old, triple... As most of you know, if I'm playing as the Americans, you know I'm building my, bunk, my uh, barracks first. I was contemplating making another engineer. Oh yeah, I started uh, faster. Than I started making the engineer, but I decided against it. So my enemy is uh, already moving out. It's Captain Crab. You can see how quickly these things move and capture points. He's already capturing a point. He's already on his second point, and I can't tell you how fast it goes up because I'm not his player. But I start making my triple rifles. Move out my engineers to capture things. I upgrade them with the flamethrower. I learned from my last video that the flamethrower is very effective for the game, so I upgrade him with the flamethrower. I, as you can see, I got rid of my other engineers being made. Now I got my flamethrower. They throw the flames. I got their good old grease guns. And, uh, yeah. Uh, this this video is very slow for the first you know, 10, 15 minutes maybe. I'm not even sure if it goes out to 15. But uh, that's what you do with the armor company in my opinion. You just wait until you get your tanks and you just go and rape shit. Just drive it right into the base, blow it up. Uh, I went to the company, obviously yeah, I start building another engineer just because I feel that I want to capture this point because I figure I can use this engineer to kill things. I would use one at the base to repair stuff and spoof. So I'm basically moving out doing my capture a lot of the map. I'm going to move them to capture So yeah, I'm just doing my very, uh, very original not very original, actually. <laughs> when I say very original, I mean very unoriginal. And I see that he's only captured uh, points this way, so I figure I would make a smart move on him and capture this strategic point and cut off its resources. But uh, that plan kind of backfires. By kind of backfires, I mean it backfires. So I'm just capping points. Yeah, we these them. But, uh, yeah, I'm neutralizing this, Japanese. Uh, yeah, they get upgraded with the uh, bears. I think the, leave in the comments section what you want to see me play as next. I could play as the Panzer Elite, the British. These are the Panzer Elite. I could play as the Wehrmacht. They're also German. They're slower to build up the strength. Do you want to see the Wehrmacht, the Panzer Elite, which really have to rush to go do any? Why do I see a vehicle? Why is there a vehicle? Oh, the Ketten Crab, right there. I didn't even see him. I thought he was part of the HQ. So, yes, this is the first major battle. I was using two riflemen to fight off three squads of uh, Panzer Grenadiers. I believe I bring up my uh, flamethrowers to support. Captain points with these riflemen. 
I kind of went down there to do nothing. Ah, yeah, here's where I move up my flamethrower. Throw some flames. Ah, I love the flamethrower. They have big pieces of machine. Oh, yeah, he's got a scout car. I've got DARs now. You can finally see what DARs are. They shoot quite fast. I think I may kill this scout car. Or at least damage the engine. Nope, nope, I think I kill it. Yep, there it goes. You can see that how easily they kill those stupid things. Yeah, I retreat now. You can see it. Like, another Ketan Crab. I should have been moving up this guy to capture. But I didn't. Yeah, I start to lose some of my engineers. I think I make it down to one engineer. And, uh, yeah, I start retreating them. They should retreat soon, too. I figure I can probably kill them until I see that they have a anti-infantry aspect. Sorry about that, guys. Had a bit of a situation. Had to go for a second. Yeah, I'm just like, oh, no way in hell I'm killing that. It's a good thing, too, because if I had stayed a little bit longer, but I got hit with this firebomb. These things are great on infantry. And I, uh, start capping this thing soon. But, uh, this infantry half track interrupts me, and I have to kill it. So, half tracks, I like half tracks, but they need to be supported with infantry. Really, they do. I see it coming early, and I bump her up against this, uh, heavy cover, and this. With bar upgrades, you can kill this infantry half track. It doesn't have any support. Even though I'm getting suppressed and I have to dock, duck to dodge fire. Look how much damage I'm doing to this thing. It's a, it's a vehicle with a machine gun on it. And I'm basically killing it. And I've got two repairs. One of the very uh, good parts about a uh, armored company. You can uh, repair any vehicle anywhere once you click this ability. It costs 150 munitions. It lasts for like 30 seconds. But it, yeah, I see that he's got another vehicle supporting. So I kill it and I retreat. <laughs> this is the triage center. It helps heal. It heals your units. Now I've got two riflemen with far upgrade and a one better tick. You can see it in there. Just above the health bar. It's right there. That's one veteran T mark. You can get up to three. Each one of them gets a different thing, except for the the uh and really they get a different type of vet veteran T. But they still get only three veteran T. I start building my uh, supply yard. Very, very crucial. Very crucial for the armored company that you get a supply yard going up. Especially for the armored company, because that's where you're going to get your tanks, which have special bonuses because you get an uh, armored company. Very, very simple concept. And I noticed that I keep losing one of these sectors. I think I separate the unit, or I just send one in. Can't remember what I did. I've got sticky bombs now. Here you can see sticky bombs completed. You could throw them from your rifleman. Yeah, I set the right one right now. Your rifleman can throw them. I use that religiously. They throw them at uh at uh vehicles like in Saving Private Ryan. Uh the same tank half track. He's been shooting at me and snipes with my guy. Great. That's painful. Oh god. Oh, I'm dying. Oh god. Oh, I'm dying. Oh jeez, I'm glitching and dying. Oh god. Guys, don't leave me. Don't do it. Johnny, I'm dying. Oh god. Oh, my guts are all over the ground. Oh jeez. Oh god. This is gonna stain my pants. Oh man, there's gonna be blood on my pants for weeks. Oh god, I'm rolling it. 
Uh, I think I make use of my sticky gun, but uh, I managed to run into this nice, uh, nice little surprise waiting for me. Here we go, sticky gun it. <laughs> you see how quickly they rip my infantry. Throw the sticky gun, you get shot at, and run away. <laughs> but you can see it just it damages the engine almost always, and that makes the vehicle slower. And I cap this and then run away. A little bit. Doubling up on this guy. And we'll try to retake uh, over here. Yep, there we go. Darn we go. I don't know why I wasn't capping this one. But uh, I managed to kill not one of these, I think. Just toss the sticky bomb. And then retreat it. Here you go. That's a nice everything. That's a nice half tracking up there. Be a shame if something happened to it. So yeah, he's taking back his uh, thing. Not really helpful. He, I still got a lot of that. Not for long, but yeah. As you can see, this is a very slow match. I may speed it up because basically it's just me killing his vehicles. I think I killed 23 vehicles in this match. But, uh, yeah, it's just me killing vehicles. Look, you can see the engines damaging this, engines damaging this. Uh, the engines not damaging this, I haven't thrown a stick bomb at it yet. Uh, once you start making more than half tracks, those things are destructive. Uh, yep, I fully reinforced mine. I got to be in there, and I'm right back. See the, the massive army they're creating. I haven't built anything. I think I've got my tank depot going up. Yep, here we go. This is the start of the destruction. I make a Sherman as soon as I can. I just basically pump out Shermans. They take a lot of damage, and that's why I like them. And against the Panzer Elite, and none of the Panzer Elite vehicles really kill Shermans. So. I'd prefer, rather than the Hellcat, which gives me more damage, I made another rifling squad. He's going over the flank. Eventually I take this church and I make it a covered barracks so I can heal the... my, uh... Oh yeah, here we go. That's a nice half-tracking off there. It was a shame if something happened to me. Yeah, I like how my guy retreats right into the anti aircraft gun. And then, it was so nice, I did it twice. Yep, these guys died too. Just run them right through the anti aircraft gun field. That's a nice half track in all time. Oh, gee. Don't. Oh, that'd be a shame if that just died. Oh, that's a shame. So, uh, ah, got my uh, rifle. I'm trying to kill one of these after. Must have killed something. I love how they uh, scream, yeah, like a true redneck when they kill something. Oh, here comes uh, damaged infantry after I. Let's nope, throw some sticky bombs on it. Boom! Shagamai. I think I may kill this too. You can see how easy it is to beat this computer. Because they just drive their vehicles right in front of you. And the rifleman with the BAR upgrade can easily incapacitate a half track so it can't get away. There you go. Once I get to five commander points, Yep, yep, I just retreated my guy right into the, uh, into the bomb. Starting to cap points again. Yeah. So yeah, once I get five of these, I can get to, uh, the Persian heavy tank. That thing, oh god, if you get it to higher veterancy, that thing just doesn't die. No, you cannot. I want you to charge that. Real sticky bomb. That's what soldiers are meant for. 
answer being father for flames. Because that's effective usually. Oh yeah, I forgot you could check how much they've killed. These guys haven't killed much. These guys killed four vehicles. That's a lot of vehicles killed. They haven't killed any infantry. I think all my ones that killed infantry are dead already. I think they were the ones that killed. These guys have killed five infantry. Oh, I got my first Sherman up. How oh, nice. Hello, Sherman. That's a nice Sherman you got there. I'm not gonna make that joke again, don't worry. Uh, got AT half tracks, so I can see them from over here, I think. Let me turn the war. Yeah, I can see them from here. I see they're getting repaired. I think a bold move. I got three rifles going. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm gonna charge those things with sticky bombs of blazing. I know my tank's coming to support me, so I, I'm feeling bold. I'm going for. Feeling bold, going for gold. Uh, so, here we go. Leroy! Oh, snipes. Oh no, I go for this thing first because I don't want my tank getting damaged. Because it's a white tank, tank out track. That's the same thing. Boom! I think I retrieved this one. And, oh no, I just pulled him back to the. Uh, Four commander points. You see this little green thing over here? If this bar completely fills, you get a commander point. You get ex all the green experience that you see for killing things. That's what it gives you. It gives you these. And now, uh, yeah, since this is. What would you guys rather see? Would you rather see an online match or would you. Rather me continue with the computer skirmish thing to show you all the uh, company commanders and the all the forces basically and what they do. Leave that in the comment section. There's another AT hand Yeah, I'm losing a lot of ground, and I don't mind this because I'm close to my Pershing, and as soon as I get the Pershing. Really, all the games are over. Because they don't have anything that'll kill it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I can't remember what the Panzer Elite get. Because I don't. I haven't played with the Panzer Elite. Oh, what they get is tank busters. That's what they needed. They had built tank busters, knowing that I had went armor. I probably wouldn't have won, won this. But I don't think that. With their. Uh, Scout car spamming in there. Yeah, they just use this one little spot as a nice way to flank my good my assault force right here. And uh, ten more fuel, I can make another Sherman. It costs ninety fuel and four hundred and twenty manpower. I don't like how expensive the Sherman is because, well, it's really expensive and it's not that good of a tank. And I hit fucking mine. I hate those things. No tank. Damage damage. The equivalent of my freaking picky dogs. I hate them so much. I just want to hit every single person that uses freaking teller mine. I want to hit them in the face and break their nose. <laughs> I just gotta kill a few more vehicles and I can, uh, own the Pershing. And I'm starting to reinforce my guys. Got my main assault force right here. I don't even think I use them. I think they may actually die. And by I don't use them, I mean I don't use them for the final assault. It looks like we got some, uh, vehicle showing going on over here. Yeah, you can see. The shells just bounce right off. You need a lot of these things and to flank my Sherman to kill it with these things. These things don't really do much damage. They miss a lot. Shoot that to kill it, I think. 
shoot him in the rear and he's dead. And I think that may actually be where I... Oh, no, the main gun is destroyed. How do you destroy the main gun on a freaking scout car? There's no main gun on it. Except for the dead person in there. Oh, look at that. Look at the dead man. He's not really dead, is he? Maybe he's just cowering because the, uh, the turret's destroyed. I don't know. Hopefully he's dead because I don't like it when they come back. Oof. Even said, so, he's got an engine. Oh yeah, this is when I noticed that he's got a order half track. I hate these things. I moved my engineer back. I eventually repair my Sherman. I've got enough fuel to make another Sherman. I don't think I've noticed yet, though. Very focused at the moment, noticing all these, uh. Yeah. Come on, back up. It's a nice scout car you got then. Yeah, shame if something happened to it. Oh, gee. I just know when I lose 94. Oh, there's the uh, mortar half track killing that thing because I really hate those. They really kill your infantry quite effectively. I think I can throw another sticky bomb and retreat them. Boom! Destroyed engine. And I think with this dead, yeah, there we go. I start. I make my person. He comes out over here, right here. You'll see when. Uh, this goes away, the five, and the little thing pops up for a heavy tank. Preparing my Sherman. Pershing reserves, and there it is. And then I make my Sherman, noticing that I have enough fuel for it. This thing is a mammoth of a tank. I think I've noticed that, uh... It takes a lot more engine damage than anything else. It loses its engine so often. It's such a slow tank, too. This thing is just like... I mean, the Tiger is faster. <laughs> and that's sad, because the Tiger is just slow as hell. <laughs> this thing doesn't even have me out. Look at it. Joy <laughs> thing. It doesn't have any help at all. It's getting shot at with a mortar. And it's telling me that it's taking fire. See, they earn veterancy. They earn veterancy from killing things. Kill so three infantry and two vehicles. I have no idea why he was driving this thing back into battle before repairing it. You can see that the AI is stupid. They can't shoot. Can't go fast. Got no health. And yet, he's charging it in the battle like it's some sort of war machine or something. This thing. Ugh. Hate that. More half track. These things are annoying, though. So. Oh, yeah. The scout car was very cold. It's trying to drive right by my engine. But, uh. Yeah, I'm, I think I'd make two more Pershing. It's very boring while well, this is all happening because. But, uh. Um, Uh, yeah, you can see he's in the back alley where I, I'm not shooting at him to, uh, yeah, I've got another Sherman going up. I can't even see when I make them because I build them so fast. And then I make another one once I reach 94 again. I drive my person right up here. I'm like, oh, hell no. Is that you want to shoot me? I don't think so. I'll run you down. This thing is just stupid. Decides to drive right by. Oh, this is a good idea. Don't worry. I drive my Sherman and kill that thing. It's trying to cap my uh, my church, my forward barracks. So as you can see, I've regained most, a lot of the map control. Killing this thing. Threw a stick bomb on it. Out of control. Shh. Boom. 
things escaping, something like that. But, uh, you know, now that I think of it, I probably, probably should have, yeah, I didn't, I didn't like the fact that he was taking that back. I didn't even, I don't even remember where that went. I didn't even notice. So yeah, I'm making another Sherman, Sherman, but before I can make it, he caps some points, and, uh, this thing. A almost full health infantry half track. I'm in light cover, and these things are actually going to kill this half track. And he, while we're being suppressed, now I've got my showman. I'm going to throw a stick bomb. I already threw a stick bomb. Engineer and a rifleman will bar. Kill an infantry half track. Very, very, very unrealistic, but infantry under attack, where? Oh, we're being attacked from over here. Yeah, I noticed they're very low on health. Try tapping, tapping this point. Yeah, I can capture territory now. I noticed the Sherman, he's idling, so I charge him in the battle. Apparently he thinks it's cool to just, you know, chill out, have a coffee break. It's not like there's a war going on or anything. We're just chilling. Oh, back to work. What's that scout car? That's a very nice scout car you have there. Be ashamed. The protector shot it. Oh, I told myself I wouldn't make that joke again, but I did. Ugh. So, you're driving it. The best idea to fight light vehicles with a tank. Your tank is much slower than a light vehicle, so either you gotta damage the engine on it, see how fast it goes away. You have to, it, it's very difficult to run it down and the computers just drive it away. But, I learned from this mistake, and I just drove it right behind it, towards the escape route. And I killed both of them. Um, oh, we're having a doozy. Oh, jeez. Oh, I only killed one. That one's out of control. Did I chase this one? I can't. I don't think I did. I think I just drove it. What? Can you cross here? That would be sad if you could, because I didn't, I wouldn't have known that. Oh, I kill a few things, probably. The rifleman. Yeah. Oh, I see it right now. Shoot it with my Sherman. Or the rifleman. There we go. One rifleman is capped at this point. One rifleman is capped at that point. I got my tanks in position. And I think I make my final push in a moment. They would stop wasting money on their freaking scout cars and their anti-tank half tracks. And they actually built some tanks. And I think the only thing... Oh yeah, I completely forgot. They thought I could have killed my tanks with the Panzer. With the, uh, Panzer Jaeger. Uh, what's it called? Can't remember what it's called. But I can make my final assault. Yeah, take the fire my hand. There's no way that wimpy ass gun is going to be killing my Sherman. Definitely not flourishing. This thing's got a beast gun. Turns slow. Not as slow as a Sherman. Maybe even slower. But while this is all happening, most people retreat to their base. That is not what you want to be doing. You want to make things that will kill it. Or repel the attack. You want to continue to hold your ground because if you retreat all your units back to kill it, then uh, you lose all your ground, and that means I get to uh, make more tanks to send in to kill. So as you can see, it's not a very good idea. So directly assaulting the base and coordinating captures is very effective because, as you can see, he's retreating his units back to his base, to repair stuff. as I'm killing his base structures. So, not only is he losing base structures, he's also losing points. 
in ways to make stuff. I didn't even notice this until the very end, but he had the uh, U.S. tank destroyer again, like in the last video, I think, and uh, he had Hector. Those things are annoying. As you can see, I'm tap, tapping all these points, moving my uh, engineers and wrapping them up to support. I eventually tap all of them except for this one. Yeah, there's a there's a tactic tank. He's just setting it there, you know. He's chilling. He's on his coffee break right now. We'll be back with you after the beep. So I'm shooting at his uh, back there, then. And I've got two hackers. He's just chilling. No, now they're both talking. They're like, you know, what's up? I don't see them till the very end. Let me turn the bug of war on. Yeah, you can see how limited the range is. Anything in this brighter area, that's what I can see. Anything in the, the semi-light area, that's what I have already been to. Anything in the dark area, I haven't seen that at all yet. Like over here, you can see I haven't seen any of this ever, so it's darker than normal. So let me turn fog over off so you can see. So I'm moving across this guy. Oh, I missed the major infantry battle. I kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. There it is. And then I tap these points. This is when I see a Tetzer and I'm like, oh, snap. Kill the Hatcher. Kill the Hatcher. Oh my god, kill it. Kill it. It's killing me. It's eating my soul. But luckily, I have field repairs. And this is what field repairs does. And then I ran into two of them, and I was just like, oh. Oh, shit. I was thinking I was going to flank it, because it's got very good front armor. But then I was like, oh, shit, there's two of them. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, this is not a good idea. Yes, this is a bad idea. Oh god, this is a bad idea. Why is this happening? And then we kill. We shoot at this one. Turn around, fire, make one shot. And then turn around, kick some ass over here. Tapping all these points. Don't really need them. I can make more shamans if I wanted to. But once I kill this, kill the base in like one shot, and that's the game. Uh, yep, there it is. Yeah, oh, the Pershing. Such a beast gun. I make another, uh, yeah, I got the Calliope. It's, I'll show you guys what that does later. You'll see it eventually. I use it semi-often. You'll almost always see it in an online battle against American armor, because it's just so great against the building. You can just bomb the base. But, uh, yeah, you made another head Anyways guys, I'd like to, uh, thank you all for watching. Please leave a comment down below on whatever you're thinking. Uh, please answer the question, uh, do you want to see more of this gameplay to, dem to like, the demonstration videos and showing you all the different types of vehicles and stuff, or before I go into online, or do you want me to do a few online matches as the Americans to show how difficult it can be? This game is really difficult, especially if you're playing against semi-competent players. There was color mines there. I didn't know that. I hate mines. Anyways, um, yeah, so if you want to see more of this, and if you do want to see more of this, what's the uh, next move? You want to see British, Fairmont, or the Tenzer Elite? They get the Tensors, which I will not be spamming because I don't use that. Well, I do, but not to the excess of this. Anyways, I'd like to uh, thank you guys for watching. If you are new, please, 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 please give it a like, thumbs up, you know, click the like button. Uh, if you like these videos, please subscribe. It helps me a lot, helps you a lot, you know. I get a subscriber, it makes me feel happy. You get 
videos in your subscription box that you can see easily. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.